Back in 2015, I went to a briefing um, by Sue Hoff at um, Manchester Metropolitan University, and they had developed the Making Sense of Maths materials. What it was about, first and foremost, was students making sense of the world um, using maths, but the priority was um, the context and the delaying of formal procedures, which I think often is rushed through in order to, to, to get the results from calculations. I knew that one of the learners had just got their driving license uh, very recently. A car petrol tank holds 52 litres. On average, a tank full of fuel enables you to travel 364 miles. So what I'd like you to do is to start with, on your own, yeah, Tell me something else that you could work out using this information. The main thing is to give the students an opportunity to talk about what they know, what they're comfortable with. I think that's important that the student has a voice straight away. What we're trying to do is make them feel comfortable to talk about that context and give them the confidence that what they have to say is of value, but to build on that with some maths. What's the furthest you've driven, or what's the furthest you've been in a car? I've been in a car before, so like 26 hours straight. What? Yeah. Where did you go? Wow. How did you, get, did you get there? Did you go Dover, Calais, and then up? Fantastic. 26 hours, that's incredible. Did you have to stop to refuel? Yeah. Okay. Any idea how far you get on a full tank? Just an estimate? I find with things like estimation or checking answers, they don't have that facility um, because they've not been asked to, to relate it to the real world or make sense of the world using maths. They've got no benchmark with which to compare it or make sense. So one example I would give would be the height of a door, approximately two meters. That's um, a visual benchmark that students can use to check whether a measurement uh, makes sense is realistic. The double number line enables a visual representation of the relationship between two different quantities, such as the volume of fuel in litres and the distance travelled in miles. Seeing those two numbers presented on a very simple visual model that um, shows the two zeros, zero uh, litres of fuel connects with zero miles travelled for the car, um, and the arrows, so showing an increasing quantity going from left to right, um, that students can relate to that. You've given two different options there, yeah? So I think you've said, I'm not sure whether to do this, yeah? Or, this. Would it not be something like 52 plus something is 364? 52 plus something equals 364. Or 364 take away 52. Like a difference. So if... I'm going to come back to that. Yeah? Because what you're talking about is an additive strategy. I have to be sensitive to the fact that although it was incorrect, um, the model allows me to bring other students into the discussion. One of the other learners um, said it didn't make sense because, and then gave an answer in relation to something that had been discussed earlier in the lesson. 
Where would this 250 miles go on this diagram? Would it go on the top number line? It was important that I worked through the students' understanding without saying straight away, that's not correct. I think the culture in maths classrooms in schools is often about success and speed and the first person to put their hand up is the most intelligent person if they get the answer right. I want to move away from that. I want people to feel comfortable to volunteer an answer and, and give them the time and space to work through it. So I think the pace has to be slowed down for a key concept like the multiplier. Um, so that student was able to reach a conclusion um, that it wasn't an additive structure, it was actually a multiplier. And I think you saw later on that she was able to apply that understanding to a new situation, which was the price per litre, and get a correct answer quite quickly, with confidence, rather than a random guess. When they first arrive in my classroom, they don't see it as an issue to check an answer. They do a calculation, there's the answer, arms folded, I'm done. They know I expect them to check it now. And I'm hoping with the, the mathematical models uh, of structure that they've got the facility to do that much more easily than they've done in the past.